fiery visuals of Venus. Venu, Earth's twin in size, but its deadliest enemy in reality. On the surface, the pressure is enough to crush a submarine. The temperature? 900 degrees Fahrenheit. The clouds? Acid, strong enough to melt through metal. No human could survive here. And yet, scientists have asked, what if we build a city on Venus? Floating cities concept. The answer isn't on the surface, but in the skies. 50 kilometers above the ground, Venus changes. The pressure is like Earth. The temperature, around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's one of the most Earth-like places in the solar system. Here, entire floating cities could drift among the clouds. Because oxygen is lighter than Venus's atmosphere, our very air could keep habitats buoyant, like balloons suspended in the sky. NASA even gave the idea a name, Havoc High Altitude Venus Operational Concept. Life in the Sky. Narrator. Imagine vast airships made of acid-resistant alloys. Solar panels gleaming across their rooftops, feeding endless energy. Inside, greenhouses grow food. Oxygen and water cycle in closed systems. Through observation windows, citizens would gaze upon a golden ocean of clouds never touching the deadly ground below. The dangers, but survival would never be simple. Sulfuric acid would corrode every surface. Hurricane force winds, 200 miles per hour, would carry the city around the planet every four days. And every breath, every sip of water, would depend on fragile recycling systems that must never fail. Why Venus? So why risk it? Because unlike Mars, Venus offers warmth protection from radiation, near-Earth gravity, and almost endless solar power. In many ways, life above Venus may be easier than life on Mars. And perhaps, these floating outposts could one day lead to something greater, terraforming Venus itself. Cinematic music swells. To build a city on Venus would be to turn hell into home. A civilization adrift among the clouds, proving humanity's ability to dream beyond fear.